Today's Strava Insights, Strava themselves. Over at Strava Labs, the heat map has just got a massive update and it is super cool. If you're not familiar with it, let's have a look at what it's all about. So the global heat map's been around for a while now where they grab everybody's information and put it on one, well, big global heat map. You can see where people ride, run, swim, etc. The data's been okay in the past. Now they claim here it's six times hotter. So the press release here released November 1st, um, they indicate here that it includes 1 billion activities, 3 trillion latitude longitude points, 13 trillion pixels uh, rasterized, 10 terabytes of raw input data, 27 billion kilometers, 17 billion miles of activities. But here's a cool stat, 200,000 years of recorded activity duration. That's nuts, that's really cool. And 5% of all land on earth covered by tiles. Okay, so what's it all about? Let's flip over and have a look. That looks pretty cool. There's the globe, there's every activity, run, bike, swim, water, sport, anything that's uploaded to Strava um, that's not, that is public, it's not sort of hidden away, that's not in a privacy zone, etc. So they're looking after your privacy there, but this is the public activities that you see online on Strava. That's the globe. It's an impressive thing. And when you turn out the lights and take the map away, you can still see pretty much all of Earth covered. Let's forget Russia for the moment. It seems to have turned the lights out. So I use the heat maps quite a lot if I'm going somewhere new. Over in Vegas earlier this year, we drilled into Las Vegas, saw that Ultra Drive was super highlighted and the Red Rock Loop was a very popular cycling route. So we used that as an indication of where to ride. Super cool function for that. But now there's running, swimming, everything. Anyway, let me show you what it's all about. Flipping over to Australia, you can see there a ton of stuff. But first of all, let me turn it blue. I'm a big fan of blue. So we've just turned Australia blue. That's just, just in itself, data is beautiful. Have a look at the information we can see here. So we have, well down here is Melbourne and Victoria, Sydney, Brisbane, over in Perth. And we have rides recorded across the Nullarbor there. So there's the Indy Pack route across there. Quite a few tourists do that route, so it'll be highlighted because of that, but that's the route the Indy Pack riders took. Um, also Race to the Rock that happened a couple of weeks back as well. They're up through the middle there. But let's dive in a little further to my home state. So Melbourne has quite a bit. Adelaide over here where the Tour Down Under will be in a few months. Really good cycling around there. Okay, so let's just switch straight to cycling. And we'll zoom into Melbourne. Victoria is quite a popular state for uh, things on wheels. Let's have a look at what I can see from just diving into Melbourne here. So the detail on here is unbelievable. So just from these little specs here, I've zoomed out. I'm not quite sure of the scale here. That's probably 50 to maybe 80 kilometers out. What I can see here, even the velodromes show up and are identifiable. So there's Coburg Velodrome, Preston Velodrome, uh, Brunswick Velodrome, Disc Velodrome, Carnegie Caulfield Velodrome, Blackburn Velodrome. We also have uh, where the criteriums are held every Sunday, Glenvale. We have Sandown Raceway where criteriums are held as well. So just in that from Melbourne alone, from that high out, the detail is enough for me to pick every single popular route. Oh, plus the infamous Beach Road, which is the ride that goes all the way down this way here. Uh, plus Melbourne CBD, Albert Park Lake where the Formula One is, is just in here. Quite a popular route as well. Absolutely fascinating stuff. So I highly recommend jumping on the website here, labs.strava.com slash heatmap. You can just Google it and you'll find it pretty quick. So Strava heatmap. But let's go up to my hometown. Not my first time it's been my hometown. I've lived here for a number of years previous. So what we have here is the town of Ballarat. Now Ballarat is, they call it the home of Australian cycling. Could be debatable, but they do hold the Australian National Championships here in Ballarat every year for the last few years. But I'll zoom in on a popular route called Lake Wendaree. It's a couple of kilometers that way. Uh, one big lake in the middle of the town. People run around it, six kilometers around. People ride around it, people walk around it. It's just a nice central spot. Um, there's also a criterium course right below it that I can see lit up as well. Let's have a look at Lake Wendaree. So I turn on the satellite. It's looking a bit black and white for now, but that's 
It's a lake, trust me, it's a lake. And we do have color here in Australia, somewhere. So Lake Wendery showing the cycling. Obviously nobody cycling inside the lake, not yet. Let me flip over to the runs. It'd be very similar. Tons of running happening around Lake Wendery. Here's the cool part, the water sports or water activities. Lake Wendery was used in the 1956 Olympics for the rowing course. They had the 1956 Olympics in Melbourne, just down the road. Lake Wendery was chosen for the rowing course. And you can see right there, the rowing course, but it's also known for the Ballarat Ironman. I don't think it runs anymore, but Ballarat Ironman, there's a swim leg on there as well. So that comes up and the data is on there is beautiful. Um, there's other water activities that have been happening here. A lot of the schools use it for rowing, so anybody tracking their rowing. Um, the sections in here, they're weeds and growth for plants and birds and all that water life stuff. So no one's gonna be in the weeds here. So, And when we turn all activity types on, I think the water ones disappear a little bit because they're not that popular. Everyone's running and riding. So there's Lake Wendery. So we'll zoom out from Ballarat. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go a little further country to another one of my hometowns, Horsham. We'll have a look at the riding around there. Now, you, if you drove into a country town like Horsham, there's long country roads, but you, how do you know which one's okay to ride on, safe to ride on, and the locals ride on? Well, if you zoom in down here, you can pretty much take the pick of the bunch. Now, the local bunchy, they call it, is plush Hannon's Loop. So out here, out along this road, cuts across, comes back in, and any of these other roads that are highlighted are pretty much what we've done when we're back home. So if this was unfamiliar to us, we'd know exactly where to ride. And there's the Horsham Velodrome there. Again, if you're a runner, visiting town, wanted to know some popular running tracks. Again, turn on the running. And we have, well, there's some running happening around the Velodrome, that's interesting. But along the river in Horsham is probably the most popular route. So if you visit any town at all, you can use this information. Okay, over to the US. Let's go on tour. Oh, while well, we're there, let's just stop off in Hawaii. And there'll be no surprises here. Zooming into Kona. There's the swim leg. So we turn off everything else. Kona swim leg, right there. Turn on activity type all, and the bike leg goes up north that way super cool okay last one we'll look at though something a little different when i was in los angeles this time last year look at la it's unbelievable guys in the states you have a ton of data to look at so again, let me know below your hometown. Let me know some of the features. I've pointed out Melbourne ones and Ballarat ones. I'm keen to know what other people can spot from using this information here. But home of Zwift, Long Beach, right there. Not what I was after though. Let's keep zooming. There's a little heat map just here. This is all activity showing at the moment. We have Disneyland. We actually have a heat map of people walking around Disneyland or running, riding. They do have uh, running races, I believe, or the small uh, fun runs, park runs around Disneyland. I actually Stravaed my um, Radiator Springs ride. Uh, it was flagged, so I don't think it's gonna show up on here. So we'll leave it there for today. If you haven't seen the heat map before, enjoy. Just dive in and find somewhere new to ride. If you have seen it before, check out the new level of data they've got in there. That is pretty cool. And find somewhere obscure and let me know below what you've found. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the road soon.